everyone you're welcome back to my channel money missing car in today's class we're going to be learning how to make a pleated slit before i've shown you how you can do it in a dress without a lining but in today's class we're going to be learning how to make it in a skirt or a gown that is turned with lining in a professional way so let's get started so this is the lining of my skirt and this is the center front and this is the zip allowance the zip allowance here is two inches so this is the length of my slit i'm still going to be trimming this this thing off i left it there so that you can be able to differentiate where the slit is so the length of my slit is 22 inches the length of my slit is 22 inches so i'm going to take off the front because for this class today we are going to be working with only the back so i'll use the lining to cut out the main fabric so i've cut out the main fabric the main fabric is two inches longer than the lining as you can see the main fabric is two inches longer than the lining the lining is your actual length while the main fabric contains your seam allowance so i'm going to be trimming this part off like i said so i've trimmed that part off so the next thing i'm going to be doing is starting from the m of the lining like i said the actual length is the length of the line all right so not from the allowance on the main fabric but starting from the m of the lining like this i'll measure upward my slit length which is 22 like i said earlier so i will notch it so that is where the slit is going to start from I will also notch my zip allowance at the upper part. My zip allowance is two inches. So I've notched it. All right, so the next thing now is to cut out the slit at the back. So fold another fabric into two. And on fold, I'm going to measure 15 inches. The least you can do is 10 inches on fold. If not, if it's less than 10, you will not be able to work. So the length of the slit is 22 inches. I'm going to add seam allowance of one and a half to that. So I will make it 23 and a half inches. So I'll measure that and note the point. Then after that, I'll just rule it so that I can cut it out. The width on fold is 15. Then the length is the length of your slit plus your seam allowance. okay i've cut it out so if you open it this is how it's going to look so the width here is going to be 30 inches you know unfold it was 15 so now it's going to be 30 inches after you open it like this then the length is 23 and a half that is the length of your slit plus your seam allowance of one and a half so so the next thing you want to do now is to aim the bottom part like this so just take it to your sewing machine and sew it like this just the bottom part all right i've m the bottom part you can see this is the bottom part of the pleat that we cut out i've m it just fold twice and then run your stitch all right so this is the skirt you can see the way it is So the next thing you'll do is to take one lining, then one main fabric. So place the lining on top of the main fabric, right side to right side. Let the right side of the main fabric be facing the right side of the lining. Then you drag the lining to match up with the M of the skirt like this. And you see, this is the M of the skirt. Match the two of them together and then you sew. also repeat the same step to the second side place the lining on top of the main fabric right side to right side match them up at the hem and then join the lining with the main fabric so don't forget to put your dart 
all right so this is it now i've joined the lining of the hem with the main fabric and i'm working with only one side first and the right side is facing up so place the pleated material that you cut out on top of it let the right side of the material be facing the right side of the main fabric then you mash it up at that place that you notch for your slit can you see mash it up like so then after that you pin it together so the next thing you want to do is to take your lining and then use it to cover it like this so the pleated material is in between the lining and the main fabric so just drag the lining let it mash up with the waistline of the skirt like this then you pin it together the time you drag the waist uh, the lining and the main fabric to mash up at the waistline you will have something like this at the hem so i'll keep pinning both the lining and the main fabric together and don't forget align everything let it match properly and pin you can see the way the hem is so you pin it as well so when you're done pinning this is how it's going to look so the next thing now is to push all the remaining material for the pleating push it inside like this so that by the time you are sewing the lining and the main fabric together you are not going to catch it so push it in and then you pin the second side as well make sure you push it away from your seam allowance so the next thing you want to do now is to take it to the sewing machine and then you sew the sides together with half inch seam allowance starting from the waistline you sew it all the way down you do the same thing to the second side all the way down from the waistline all right so i'm going to be doing that now i'm making a gown so i'm not going to start exactly at the waistline because i'm still going to be attaching the upper part of my gown to it so then you also do the second side so i'll bring it to the right side So by the time you bring it to the right side, this is how it's going to look. Can you see? This is how it's looking by the time you bring it to the right side. Let me show you how it looks from the lining part. So from the inside, this is how it looks. Can you see? Everything is nice and neat. All right, so we are going to be working with the second side of the pleated part now. So this is the right side of the pleated part and it's facing up this time around. Then you place the right side of the main material on top of it. Ensure you align them where the slit is going to start. So that your notch that you have on the skirt. Make sure you align it very well like this. Can you see? So the right side of the skirt is facing the right side. Of the pleated part can you see so the next thing you want to do now is to you can see make sure everything is properly aligned so hold it like this and then use the lining to cover it underneath this time around can you see so again the pleated part is stay in between the main fabric and the lining can you see this is how it's going to look so the pleated part is in between the lining and the main fabric so we are going to pin also align it match it up at the waistline and pin make sure everything aligned properly so the other side too i've pushed it inside and i've pinned just the way we did for the others other one that we did earlier so you sew it again the two sides 
and after that you bring it to the right side by the time you bring it to the right side you have something like this so the pleated part is in between the two side of the skirts can you see and this is how it looks from the wrong side so I've turned it back to the right side and this is how it looks. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to place them on top of each other like this. Let the two sides of the skirt match up properly at the hem and also at the waistline. Align them properly like so. So from the waistline, you measure down your zip, the length of your zip. So then from that place you sew it all the way down to where your pleated slit is like a, a little below that point like half inch below that point all right so i measure down my zip length i measure nine inches from the waistline down and then from that place my my remaining uh zip allowance now is one and a half so i measure that and then from there i roll it straight to where my slit is so now i'll start sewing from that point where i roll i'll sew it all the way to where i have my slits just straight like that and i'll backstitch you will not turn it to the other side no you'll not do that just straight and then you backstitch like so so when that is done this is how it's going to look we have sewn this place so the next thing we are going to be doing now is to create our pleat so open it up and turn it to the wrong side like this so the center of your pleat you know i have notion there that's the center of my pleat match it with the center of your zip allowance like this and then you pin together so the next thing you want to do is to start creating the pleats ensure the bottom part align properly you need to pay attention to that if it's not aligning properly align it let it be on the same level and then you do it this way all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to create the second pleat can you see from the center again towards the side like this this is the center here mash it up with the center of the zip allowance again then you pin you know we are creating our pleats you can create the number of pleats as you wish so one side done then the other side locate the center towards the side like this again from that center you can see from the center hold it and then push the center inward push it inward like this let it match with the center of the zip allowance like so and then you do it this way we have created the pleat to the other side as well and then you pin it So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to run my stitch across. Just run my stitch across like this. And that's it. Our plate is ready. So the next thing I'll do now is to take to the ironing table. Then I'm going to press it. And this is the part you don't want to skip. Ensure you are lining it properly like this. Arrange your pleats. Let it be straight like this. And then you press it. This part is very, very important. So that at the end of the day, your pleats can be looking very sharp and crisp. Very neat. So make sure you press it. Iron it very well. So that your pleats can remain permanently in place even after washing the dress the pleats will go back to the way it is so make sure you press it very well So 
so i'll go ahead and complete my dress i've joined the upper part of the skirt to it and i'm going to fix my zip and that's it Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.